Well, Simon, just to starting back with last Saturday, really, it was an emotional day for everyone connected with the club. For you personally, it was your first experience of the county fans. They were singing your name. You had that great reception when you first came out onto the pitch. What did all of that mean to you on a, on a personal level? Yeah, I think um, I think it was um, a day we'd all really look forward to, you know, getting supporters back in, the county fans. You know, I'm sure I've missed turning up and um, getting behind the lads and enjoying the day. Um, so I think it was a really special day for, for football in general and in particular, obviously, our football club. Um, and it was just, um, for me, obviously, one of pride that, you know, I'm, I'm the manager of such a special club and, I, I, you know, I'm in a very privileged position and it's something that, you know, I'm very much aware of. And, um, you know, I think the support I received on the day w w was outstanding and the lads received. So, yeah, a really, a really... A really special day, I think, and um, hopefully that's something that will only, you know, increase over time, and we can eventually get more and more supporters in, and um, you know, have really special days ahead of us. I mean, we spoke back then about the the potential impact of having the fans back in, that boost it provides to the players. It, is that a, a factor now that we need to potentially be wary of the other way this weekend with with fans back in at Hewish Park? Yeah, I think um, obviously. The, it is different, you know, that we, it's been a long time for the players not playing with an audience, not playing with, you know, the, the, the fan base in. So I think there is a, it's natural that there's a small period of adjustment with that. Um, and obviously for us, it's, uh, it's been a long time as a group of professionals. We've gone and, you know, had more of a hostile environment in an, in an away stadium. Um, so I think we have obviously got to be aware of that. But look, I think... You know, the, the, we've got an experienced dressing room, experienced set of players, um, and, and really it's something I think we'll deal with quite naturally. Just just looking at Yeovil, 15th in the National League table, they've, they've not got much to play for in terms of the final league position. What sort of tests are you expecting from them this weekend? Well, um, but I think all the games represent you know, a difficult task in different ways. Um, and obviously it's representative of the division this year. You've got Yeovil who... You know, have been challenging in, in past years. Have probably, you know, disappointed overall that the season hasn't panned out, and um, in, in a way in which they would have hoped. But you know, they're they're well organised. They've got good management, good manager, good staff, and a, a strong set of players. So it's another game that will represent its challenges, and it's another game. As with most games, you've got to be, you know, at a high level of performance or certainly close to it to get that three points. Just in terms of injuries, you obviously had two pretty big players up front missing last time out with, with Harry Cardwell and Paddy Madden. What, what's the latest on them in terms of their progression? Yeah, obviously it's been unfortunate the last few weeks that we've, um, you know, we have had players missing who um, you know, have been quite influential in, in the run and in the build-up to the end of the season. So you know, hopefully their progress is, is enough that we can start to see you know, Harry back involved and uh, with Paddy, it's obviously an ongoing assessment that's taking place. So, you know, still one or two areas of boxes to tick in terms of, you know, fully being passed and being available with, with bodies at the minute. So, you know, that's something we're assessing daily and, um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully moving into the weekend, we can, we can welcome, you know, some back. In terms of your team selection and potentially taking risks on certain players, do you, do you start at all to think ahead to the playoffs, have one eye on that, or is, is the focus fully on this game this weekend? Well, I think, um, you know, there's a balance to be struck there this time of the year that, you know, earlier in the year you talk about, you know, one game at a time. And um, and certainly I think that that's important. But when you do enter a period of the season, the end of the season, and you potentially got playoff games at stake, of course that has to come into your thinking. Um, what we have done, we've done fantastically well to secure a playoff spot. You know, there's still some some big sides in the division who have, you know, really thrown something at it this year that, you know, are going into the last round of the games having not secured that final playoff place. So, you know, we can we can be pleased that we have secured that. Um, and we've got a job to do now. The next bit is obviously trying to, you know, secure third place. Um, but, you know, in terms of them decisions that you're talking about with players that, you know, you could expose to injury, we're at the time of the year where you know, the consequences are a little bit more terminal. And if you lose someone for two or three weeks, you are losing someone for, you know, what would be really, really important games. So it is, it is in your thinking in a different way to what it would be earlier in the season. And, um, but that's only natural. So I think, um, I think what we have to do is we have to stay collective. You know, we're a good team, you know, and if, if players are unfortunately going to be missing out, you know, we have full faith in what's coming in. 
And uh, as a group of staff, we've got expertise, we've got a great environment. So what we can be assured in that when we are making these decisions, we're making it in a, in a very professional way. And, you know, being as objective as we can and, and also taking, most importantly, the players' needs into it. So, um, yeah, them decisions are, are not straightforward, um, but they're ones that have got to be made. You're on a, a pretty incredible run of form away from home as well at the minute. Five wins and a draw from the last six games. It, what do you put that, that strong record on the road down to? Um, I think we have, um, we, we've we been consistent. I think that's important. I think what all good sides are striving for is a, a high level of consistency in, in the different disciplines that you want, whether it be set pieces, defensive organisation, attacking structure, mentality. Um, and I think what we have done generally, we've had a good level of consistency and we want, we want to have brilliant habits as a team and a group. Um, and that's what we're working towards. And I think them things that we're working towards day in, day out on the training pitch, and importantly, off the training pitch as well, you know, they contribute to, to them runs. And then what we've got to do is, is then take care of the, the fine details and the margins and the things that, you know, turn one point into three points. And, and some of that is, you know, just a little bit of luck some weeks. And some of that is, you know, maybe maintaining that focus and, and getting the job done. So, but I think that the run is a good one. Um, but of course, you know, we, we are, we're not blinded by the reality, you know, that, we want to be winning games and and turning them tight games or turning them dominant games last week. You know, we're very dominant and parts of our performance last week were absolutely outstanding in the second half. But really it's about, you know, making sure that dominance turns into three points. Or equally, you know, if you are having a difficult day away from home, staying strong and resilient and organised and then, you know, stealing the game perhaps on a moment of quality, which we have got. So we're finally now at the end of what's been a, an incredibly congested National League season. I mean, yeah. when, when you reflect back, I mean, what do you think of the, the progression of the side over the course of the season, certainly since you've been here? I mean, are you satisfied with what's been achieved so far? Um, you know, I think um, you know, my job's never to be satisfied. I think I've always got to be looking at how we stretch, how we grow, how we get better, um, how, what our ambition is. So, you know, what I am pleased with, I'm pleased with the commitment of the group. You know, I think as, as a coach, myself, manager, you have to accept that people are going to make mistakes. You have to accept people are going to have bad days. Uh, but then non-negotiables about working as hard as you can, you know, putting the team first and also assessing your individual needs. But, and, and I think the, um, the, the environment we've got and, you know, that togetherness, I'm satisfied with that. You know, in terms of the levels of performance and what we want to do, you know, I'm always going to be someone that wants a little bit more and challenges the players to find a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think overall, you know, in terms of how we're working, you know, and it's certainly what we're trying to achieve, you know, I think, you know, I can be pleased with the players' work and the contribution and I think we're growing and I think we're getting better. Um, and hopefully that continues and, and contributes towards what is hopefully a successful season come the end. Simon, thank you for your time. Pleasure.